Hey, welcome in. Yeah. Are you here for the yoga? Awesome. Mindfulness and yoga always blend together. Just came back from work. I love doing this. And let's just uh, get in the mood. I know the lawnmower's in the background. But let's start to connect with our bodies right now. So I'm going to invite you to take some deep breaths and begin to connect with that inherent dignity that you hold in your body. All right. Feel as the cool air goes up your nostrils and the warm exhale leaves your mouth. Perfect. And what I like to do to start, although we're stretching, I just want to like get our body loose so when we are stretching, we can make sure we can hurt ourselves. This is something that is deeply personal. You can do it however you like. Get your body loose. Some people shake. Right? Some people shake. Other people are more slow and methodical in their movements. But just a way to just connect with our bodies and make sure our bodies are in the groove. Let our bodies know. Say, hey, we're going to be stretching. We're going to be stretching everything. You know, all these muscles, all down. And so we want to make sure our body, yep, is feeling it. And that our mind body and muscle connection is there. There we go. I like to just do a little shake, a little dance, something like that. My body is going loose. Uh, I think what I'm going to start with today is just some neck circles, okay? you know I am by no means a professional I am here to become a therapist in the mental health field not a physical therapist and it's still fun to connect and sort of have this connection with you and I'll be I enjoy doing so thank you for being here And so I don't get sued. Don't try this at home. Every, everything you do is at your own risk. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, be careful and know your body's limits. And listen to your body. If, if this stretch isn't working for you, then we'll find a way to adapt it, you know? But for me, these neck circles are nice. I'm going to do three more. This way. One, two, three. The muscles in my neck and my throat feel like they're stretching out. And I don't really like pulling like that because I feel like naturally through the day, always looking on our computers, our heads are always forward and bent. So I like to stretch it out in that kind of way. And that's what my body needs. I'm going to do some neck circles the other way. I'm going to do five going this direction. One. Two. Four, five, and sometimes what happens for me there is my head gets a little dizzy, so sometimes I need a break. Sometimes opening my eyes helps. Um, but yeah, everyone has their own way, and I hope you're staying hydrated these fall days. Oops. Oh. 
Let me set that down and just start doing arm circles. Arm circles. Arm circles. Invite you to start stretching your arms with me. We'll do that. Just initially warm it up with a series of circles. A series of circles. Just like that. Really just wake up our whole arm, say, hey, it's time to start stretching. And before we begin the stretching, I want us to take notice of our body. What are our arms telling us right now? What are they saying? What are they feeling? Mine are telling me that not so much my tricep, but my bicep is sore and it could really use some stretching. My hands are telling me that I was stressed today and um, just out of anxiety, I cracked them a little bit too much today. And that's something I've been trying not to do. So that's what my hands are telling me. They're a little tired. And one might find it silly to, to speak to each part, but sometimes that's what we need. And just to take that connection of just focusing, just focusing on our hand or wherever our body needs attention so we can prioritize care for it. And then that little nagging thought in the back of your head, say, yes, I have it. I'm taking care of it. It is under control. I hear you. And with some nice finger tracing. And now on my right hand, we're going to begin stretching. And I think the first thing I'm going to stretch is the shoulders. I feel like the shoulders could really benefit. I want to take this and I'm going to see how far can I go back where it feels comfortable and stretching right along here. Okay. And again, I feel it specifically right here. My arms are really appreciative. <clears throat> Sometimes my shoulders even may crack from that. It is such um, a relief. And now what I'm going to do and work kind of the tricep area by taking this arm and just pulling it across. I feel like it also kind of gets in your shoulder area, right? But there we go. And while I'm doing this, I can feel my feet planted to the floor. Some people prefer to do yoga and shoes, and that's totally all right. You're doing great so far. What has felt the most relief? I know we haven't really done a lot. We still have a lot of the arm to do in the rest of our body, but what has been the stretch for you that has hit home? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you there. I think the best one is still to come. One of the ones I really like, uh, right here. Really get the bicep for me. Yep, just like that. And what I can do is I can put my hand on the wall and then lean and it stretches right here in the bicep even more. That's going to be one of my favorite stretches. 
How's it feeling for you? Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to set my arm on this and stretch, twisting my body. And so you can see what it looks like from this angle. Stretch them up high to the sky and come down. And lay them on your sides and now back up. And back down. And now what I want us to do is combine that mindfulness. So when we go up, we're going to inhale and when we go down, we're going to exhale. Hold, and now exhale. We're going to do that five more times, okay? Four more. And if you want this more of a mindfulness and a stretch, you can just go. All right, three more. You can do it this way too. Let your body lay limp. Almost a little sleepy. So I'm trying to think of some ab stretches. I don't know any ab stretches on the top of my head. Pick ones, do that. I think for the most part, what we're going to be working on is mostly the lower, lower body. Okay, we're going to be stretching the legs, um, working on the calves. Thighs, glutes, all that kind of stuff. So why don't you get your mat out and yeah, we'll go from there. Hey, welcome. I'm glad you got your mat out. Um, sweet. I forgot mine today, but the but it's all good. I think what I'm gonna start with. I just like to sit like this with my feet touching, and then I'll lean forward like a lunge. And when you do that, you're going to feel it right there, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Sometimes you can shift to one side or the other, but I just prefer for this one, reaching forward. I think I want to do that one more. And while I'm leaning forward and doing that, I'm just trying to practice some mindfulness and just closing my eyes. And instead of feeling the muscle uh, directly, I'm thinking about just something pleasant in my mind, something I'm looking forward to.
What were you thinking in your mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about going to the beach. Something I always enjoy doing. Mm, the next thing we got on our agenda is stretching one leg. So this one is just gonna sit there and the sole of your foot is just gonna rest against your other leg. And you're gonna reach. You're gonna feel the whole stretch all the way down here. As you can see, I can't get very far. So I'm just gonna take my time, know my body's limits, listen to my body, not push it too far. I didn't get that far on that stretch, but we're going to do some more, like I do a standing up and all those things, so I anticipate the flexibility improving as the day, or as these stretches go on, so I'm just going to switch to the other one. I can't really touch my toe without too much discomfort, so I'm going to meet my body where my body's at. Make sure my body is feeling heard and appreciated. You can take this however you like. My body wants to keep working on that. So I'm going to spread my legs out and reach forward. Now I'm going to grab each one of my ankles wherever you can reach and just lean forward. Hmm. I'm going to go to one side. Definitely reach a little farther than I could before. Now the other side. Hmm. Yeah. That feels nice. Now I'm actually going to put this ankle right here, right above my knee. And that's gonna help me stretch out my glutes. Really get back here. Perfect. And now I'm gonna do that with the other side. Shake my body up a little bit. Now I'm going to reach and touch my toes. I can barely do it. I can tell you without that prior stretching, I certainly would not be able to. Now I'm going to do my thighs right here. Wiggle it when I do that. And as I pull and hold my leg, I feel it right down there. Now let's shift it to the other thigh. Hmm. 
Now for calves, I lean up against the wall. I keep one leg straight at the calf I want to stretch. And the other one bends. And you can see the calf stretch out. stretching with me. Right now take a moment to just get in touch with your body. Is there anything left that needs some attention that can't be left unattended to? Is there a certain muscle? Was there a certain stretch you really liked? For me my left shoulder is feeling a little sore and I'm just gonna give it some attention. But yeah, take a moment to scan your body. What is your body feeling right now? Your mind is feeling relaxed, but also refreshed in a sense. Not a feeling, a feeling relaxed, but not groggy. My body is feeling really calm. And as always, um, you can sit here as long as you like, continue stretching, continue just being in the moment. But I appreciate y'all being here. Um, thank you for uh, coming to this yoga lesson and stretching with me. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Yeah. Take care. Peace. Thank you to all our members for supporting the channel. If you'd like to join the Donut Crew, link in the description below. Good night.